Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this section, we will talk about the success stories of some of the most accomplished African entrepreneurs. There is an abundance of amazing business opportunities in Africa and our goal is to inspire you in your own entrepreneurial journey. But before we start, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to click the bell icon to be notified for future videos. today's video, we are going to talk about Victor Rasagu, a Kenyan entrepreneur who is a managing director and co-founder of Melrose Bounty and Bound Enterprises, a company that manufactures cosmetics, mainly lotions. Rasagu started the idea of the company in 2006 with two of his close friends, Charles Nyawire and Janet Atieno, when they were just students. Each of them started to contribute a nominal amount of money on a weekly basis. Later, they realized they could start a promising business with their diverse educational backgrounds. Rasagu was an accounting student, Nyawire had a diploma in sales and marketing, and Atiano, who already had an industrial chemistry background, also obtained a diploma in cosmetic science. They had consultations to decide what business would be successful with their expertise and settled for the cosmetic industry. After carrying out some initial market research, they came to the conclusion that the market lacked a good organic lotion. Also, most women bought glycerine separate and mixed the two before application. This is where their idea was born, to have a lotion that has glycerine already mixed in. Another thing they focused on was natural products. They made sure that their products were not less than 20% natural. Their product carries the brand name Back to Nature. It is a registered trademark and they have its ownership rights. Their prototype did not meet standards, therefore, they went back to the drawing board and improved it. They got it certified from Kenya Beru of Standards, also known as KEBS. Because of this certification, their product is qualified and verified to be sold across the globe. They officially started their business in April 2007 from Atieno's Kitchen as their workspace. However, with increase in demand, they had to rent out a separate space for operations and bought some equipment to boost their production. They produce more than 600 lotion bottles daily. They come in extracts and fragrances of avocado, sunflower, and aloe vera. They sell in two sizes, a 130 milliliter bottle which retails for 76 cents and a 220 milliliter bottle which is sold for 95 cents. They have around 8 employees working for them in different capacities. They sell their product to retail outlets as well as wholesalers. They plan on expanding their product line to include hair care and other skin care products as well. In June 2009, they were voted the most promising youth entrepreneurs in the Youth to Youth Business Practice Exhibition Conference. Rasagu faced many a challenges throughout his entrepreneurship journey, including being undermined by competitors to suppliers. Going against large multinational corporations was a challenge on its own, being offered to be bought by competitors. But Rasagu was aware of the company's worth and did not cave in. Rasagu stresses upon having a vision in order to be an entrepreneur. One should have a clear idea in mind about what they want to do. They should be ready to take calculated risks and should study the market as well. One motivator for Rasagu and his friends to start their own business was the lack of jobs in Kenya for the educated youth. By starting MBB, Rasagu also provided employment opportunities for others in his country as well. Are you new to entrepreneurship and don't know where to start? Click the link below to sign up for our accelerated course in digital marketing to get started on your entrepreneurship journey. Thanks for watching. Give us thumbs up. See you with the next video. Until then, keep smiling.